Hi everyone, I'm Mary and table been watching Doug Dugs. I made an AI secretary to answer my actual emails, which I mean, you know, I was gonna say there's no way he actually did that. This is probably just some dumb skit he's playing out, but this is also Doug Doug with AI and I I don't think it's a joke. I will find out, but there's a little bit of the back of my head going, <laughs> no, he definitely would. He definitely would. And honestly, that's why I'm here, because Doug Doug's insane, and when he uses AI, it's in the most insane way possible, and that's kind of what I want to see. Uh, one of these is probably going to be a horrible, horrible threat without anyone realizing before it was sent off. Oh, God. More importantly, this is part of my series of, I'm trying to get over being sick with the flu by recording when I really shouldn't. Is this a mistake? Yes. Link below video. Hit it up. Let's get started. Lot of emails as a YouTuber from fans or from people wanting to do business, and unfortunately, yeah. I do not have the time to actually reply to these anymore. I mean, I, I get so much spam as this, yeah. But it's impossible it didn't to actually matter. Which is why today Voltage? I'm having my Twitch chat. Build me an art. Wait, what did that email say? I think you are so cool and nice and sweet and smart and strong and real and green and round and fun and kosher and stern. Really, not that for that one. And very not bald. I just wish you were terrible to make it easier to make fun of you. Yeah. Yeah, because we have to wait for that to make fun of someone. Impossible to get through them all, which is why today I'm having my Twitch chat build me an artificial wait, intelligence Twitch chat to built be it. my secretary and reply to my emails for me. We're going to do this by selecting 10 random members of Twitch chat who will each contribute one personality trait to a new AI. Oh. <laughs> I thought this is just him making an AI to see how crazy it got. Twitch chat did this. Doug Doug's Twitch chat. <gasps> this is no longer a matter of, I right, let's see how crazy this gets. It's a matter of, oh my God, how is he not in jail for some horrible, horrible thing it sent out? He can't have actually sent these emails out. There, there's no way. I dug. For example, you constantly and aggressively correct people's grammar. You are a fortune grammar teller nothing. trying to constantly see into people's future. He's what? constantly fighting the urge to stand up, dive over the table, and make out with you. <laughs> <laughs> Once I that is actually a trait AIs seem to develop because they go either murder, asshole, or thirsty. Yeah, it, it's when they go rampant, they go thirsty. That is a thing that has been very heavily documented. And they're playing into it by making it start at that level. I've combined all 10 of their personality traits into a new person. We're going to conduct a formal job interview with oh this newly God. created AI and decide if he's a good fit to answer my emails. If Twitch They even get to have sign-off rights on this? This isn't a challenge. This is a try not to put Doug Doug in jail video. If you survive to the end of the prison term, you win. Chat likes him, then the AI is hired. And I'm going to have him respond to my actual emails at the end of the stream. So now, let's begin the it's, quest. It's actually going to do perfect it. perfect AI secretary. You're As an example for one of the traits, I will theorist? offer up trait number one. So my trait is you're a terrified conspiracy theorist who thinks the person writing the email is part of a government conspiracy to steal your organs. You will aggressively accuse them of this in your response. <laughs> no, don't steal his virginity. Oh my god. If that is explicitly what it is, it's actually less disturbing. But also, what do they think it is? Everyone's from the CIA? Steal your virginity? Organs and virginity. <laughs> All right, for trait number two, we're going to pull a random person. The next trait is from Mauve45. Mauve, everybody wants to know, what is the most important oh, no. trait in an email secretary for you? He has severe arachnophobia. That's just normal. Trait number three. Yeah, that, that's not a trait. That's just the a letter e and survival to mechanism. Use it. This is going to cause issues. He believes that he has at least five grenades on him at any given time. Wait, hold on. Do you what? mean that the grenades are like about to explode or that he is just holding hand grenades? <laughs> Both. Okay. <laughs> this man He's holding is grenades up. about Next to person. explode. He has a secret identity as a superhero that he tries to hide, but it's obvious. Okay. What? The secretary is a recovering kleptomaniac and constantly looking at and eyeing things that he can steal off of whoever he's talking to. And the secretary has an audible disagreement with himself every time he notices something this man he might be a little overcooked in the oven i'm gonna be this is actually less dangerous than i thought it would be twitch chat is going easy on him at this point i thought it'd be something like he has some kind of disease where it makes him swear aggressively i know there's a term for that and i'm just blanking at the moment but that essentially that except taking it to 11 and going incredibly hard on it
to be honest. Seventh trait. He is gay with an obsession with DILFs and occasionally mentions his ex-boyfriends. I'm that, just gonna say that's actually dads. for. I don't know if it'll really do well with DILFs. That's not Next even that up, weird, considering all the other things. Military. <laughs> Guess that explains the grenades. Two more. He's a gay man with a private military. The thing with hot dads. So basically, modern times Alexander the Great. Yeah, look it up. That's not even a joke. Obsessed with eating inedible things like plastic. And paper There's and actually disease for that. There is actually trait. disease. You always need to ask Craig, sitting in the landscape beside you, how to do anything related to the email job. Okay. That actually might be the safety a option. A beautiful new boy. Our first AI secretary is ready. He Next did. Up, I have a list of potential interview questions. How should we do this? Oh, Maybe no. for each guy, I pick five interview questions, and then those are the five we use. Okay. I like what are your biggest strengths and weaknesses. I feel like we should <sighs> definitely have that in there. What's I hate that question with a passion. I've been asked it so many times in interviews that I admittedly failed. Yeah, I, I look at that question right now and I'm going, I don't even, I'm not taking the interview right now and I feel rage and a moderate amount of fear. Why? What's the biggest failure you've had in your life and how did you deal Applying with it? That's pretty to good, this. right? Do you think I'm attractive? I don't want to ask that in a job interview. All right, yeah, go for Weinstein. Welcome to the office. Today I'm going to ask you a couple of questions to see Doug. if you're a, a good fit God. for this company and this team. My first question for you, what is oh, the biggest failure that you've had in your life and how did you deal with it? Hi, truly savory for you to call yours truly into this portico, but hold on, portico. I'm smelling a trick. Mm. This quick, casual inquiry has a malicious twang of conspiracy. Oh, yeah. Could it stealing possibly virginity. point to an unholy government plot to purloin my organs? Nope, I just want or you to answer my email. Possibly my purity, too. <laughs> nope, all right. No, uh, I'll definitely play your trick not. and you can jot this down for your administration, pals. Okay. My paramount blot was an arachnid confrontation. Inhumanly colossal hairy things still brings chills up my arms. You fought Thinking a spider. About it, imagine yours truly, aka Dark Soil. That's strictly hush hush. Oh, yeah, because he was supposed to be the superhero, so he's calling himself Dark Soil. So he literally went with Dirt Man. Sorry, Mud Man. That's. Would mud be darker than regular soil? I don't know. Eh. Dirt Bag. Oh, that's even better. Dirt Bag. He's literally calling himself Dirt Bag. Hush, by the way. Dark Trotting <laughs> off into a lair. Oh, full. You're a super of villain. villainous eight leg monstrosities. A chunk of plastic in my mouth for good luck. I vanquished that. He's actually incorporating all of the crazy bullshit really well. He's eating non-edible things for luck. He's a superhero who's hiding it badly. He's afraid of spiders, so they became the villains. Huh. That fiendish You're villain, boom, by plastic. the by, if Craig was in this spot, I warned And then there's Craig. His arms and talk about how important the AI is, is incorporating it reasonably well. Shiny things. Nothing is too small or it's insignificant to grab It's good attention. to hear that you don't steal. <clears throat> Very interesting. Next, uh, let's hear a little bit less about you as a superhero and a little more about how you would answer a typical email. Well, Here's no, my he's question. To hide a it person has just emailed me and said that I, Doug Doug, have made a huge difference in their life and helped them through a tough time. How would you respond? Ah, uh, music to my auditory oh, no. organ. Called now, ears. you admit that inquiry sounds a bit fishy? Smacks of conspiracy. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Trying to tap into I wonder if he's running through the personality traits in the order they're presented rather than just trying to work them in. Is that a thing AIs do? Where when you give them traits they have to run through, they specifically do them in order? Or do they mix and match? Because it seems like he's starting with the first one we received, which was the organ theft and or stealing the virginity my huh. thought mm -hmm. now don't go fooling yours truly your cunning pursuit won't work still i'll furnish you a solution make him so this joyful okay. individual yes. mails about a profound shift because in they're trying to steal his non-existent similar thoughts. to you rallying around is what aids doug in putting out top-notch broadcasts there we go stay good. valiant buddy now a hot dad such as craig might not draft <laughs> oh now way, craig is the hot him, dad am i you know craig right i fired for craig down thoughts was so good craig his doesn't work here charm, a charming charm off a charming hot dad's charm bracelet not that i'd know anything about that of course Charming. just wildly spinning words in thin air okay you can't talk about how hot craig is and then say you wouldn't know anything about that craig got <laughs> fired for that, that this man has he dated craig because i did fire craig for having sex in the office all right very interesting oh, um, i have geez. a little bit of a, uh, Who did a he have it for with? you if you will there's no right answer oh here so i want to hear how you would approach Not something craig like an email asks is a hot dog a sandwich please I mean, it's bread around meat with sauce. He 
you know, I'm just going to attribute this to being sick still and say I don't know because I don't like this. I, I don't know. Why? Explain. Look at him fucking pondering. He's sick bastard. Why? Ask him if he has a criminal record. That's a good question. Because oh, he's alluded to it a lot. Hot dog. It's a good thing this is not a real one, but I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to actually ask that. Maybe. I think it depends on the state. Brings back nostalgia of picnics with this hot dad. I, ah, uh, digressing. I yeah, must if control we could, that. He's thing. hiding it now. Onto to your inquiry. Yeah. A riddle, you call it? Sounds fishy. Is this a trap laid out by your pals in high suits, hoping to hoax yours truly into exposing my virginity it, or location of organs? No, it's just a sort of test of how you make an argument to draw a conclusion. It all boils down to your construct of what a sandwich is. If you stick to a is he's actually answering two it? or morals of this is good stuff in middling, a hot dog might not fit your sandwich illustration. But if you adopt a broad outlook, it's your call, or you could just munch on a sandwich minus this fuss and watch a good Doug Doug broadcast. This brings I back a vivid flashback of that glorious night. Dining out with this hot dad I was no, dating. No, 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 no. We are going to talk about Craig business. And Craig is now the hot dad again. Oh, my God. Did he get a personality trait where he's supposed to talk up Doug Doug? Because I don't remember them putting that one in, or was that just implied because of what he's doing? Destroying this interview. And talk about We're going to move on to the next question. To... Now, I do want to ask you just routine question. Just I'm sure it's right quite simple. Do you have a criminal record? Him. Is that a roundabout way of trying to pull my purity from yours truly? No. Or possibly we... bargain assistance from your administration buddies? I need to know if you're a criminal. Yeah, I'm don't go full casting couch on this one. Around. You know, I got grenades on standby. <laughs> don't fucking Oh, yeah, I've heard about the grenades. Through malls, parks, or just a plain room. I'd constantly find my hands. Man's longing to pick up random baubles and bobs. You steal the rest of your mind. I'm on a good path now, focusing on this job with our bald champion. To bring out a totally <laughs> non-ran tip for my coworker Craig. Oh, you'd swoon hard. And he's going him. back Such to it. <laughs> I, constantly... don't... I think his most defining trait right now is that he is absolutely thirsty for Craig. I wasn't expecting Craig to be the one, but Craig is definitely the one now. You say, Craig avoid is, sticky situations, Doug. Oh, how I cannot push away thoughts about don't did his voice break at me this is oh that was a moan i don't know if we're learning anything about this guy or if we're just learning about what he thinks craig would do in the job but i guess if he would just yeah. do all these things then that is okay the actual emails are fantastic everything oh, no. else in this man's personal life terrifies me Chad, what did he actually write can't just come down to me it is up to you e-dog thank you for coming in two, we will now make our one, decision two, two, two. Reminder, Chad, of this e-dog will answer oh, actual is he actually going to fail it sent to me if he is hired several people seem to be concerned about the i actually Actually thought because he was horrible, they'd go for it. Nerves do not explain him stealing every day as part of his routine. Ladies and gentlemen, the board has voted. Yeah, what does we he think he is? A CEO? Him. Dad, Doug. Doug, I want to thank you for Dead. coming in today. We've made the hard decision to not bring you onto the team. I hope you don't take this too hard, and we look forward to maybe doing an interview with you in the future if you drop some of those habits that you were describing. Ah, not surprising. This was all a trick, wasn't it? I am, in fact, trying to cast away thoughts about Craig, too, that charming hot <laughs> just dad. Need you to reply to He's just going full Craig on this one. With you, I would gladly rally back for an opportunity to assist our bald champion. Also, I can't push away thoughts of how Craig... Okay, all right, we're moving on. It's just thank going you full very much. Craig. Craig. You will hear from oh, my <laughs> all right. Sorry to all the hot dad Doug stands. He's out. He's too good for this company. Hold on. How many of you who <laughs> voted no thought he deserves a better job than this company? I don't Everyone. think going to hire him when he talks about stealing. And they're all just saying me, me, me in the chat. More me's me. And I did. Oh, someone doing a little original there things and eating their plastic but we're ready for a brand new e-dog the perfect secretary oh, no. is he going to change it or oh yeah trait. new one dislikes doug but watches the videos and hopes the parker shows up <laughs> i think that might actually tip doug over the edge someone who hates him but loves parkser would be so hilarious to him that if that's what the ai decides to focus on as opposed to hot dad craig this might actually be the defining feature he probably loves my videos. Trait number oh, two. No. <laughs> Thinks he's dead. There are people Our who believe trait, that. Loves LeBron James. Like romantically or normally? We'll say normally. He opens every message with, hey, dunk. <laughs> I don't want that. Oh my God. I, I don't know anyone who opens messages like that when they send emails to people they work with. Um, I don't feel personally attacked suddenly. <laughs> that's That's completely... <laughs> Not, uh, let's move on quickly. Um, what? I get that enough, dude. Fourth trait. He gets confused in public transportation and gets on the wrong train. Okay, fifth trait. This trait. is getting Only too reliably to accurate. Steal Doug's viewers. I'm going to add a bit to this. I'm going to say he wants to be a Twitch streamer. Any oh, kind God. of nervousness or stress makes him ramble. So seventh normal trait. AI. Why should we hire you instead of an AI? That's a good question. Oh, that's so Oh, good. an so AI he if he's an AI. Doug Doug and the job than the interviewer or anybody else and answers all questions in a condescending manner. Trait number eight. Use 
So he's going to be condescending. Hates Doug. Doug loves Parkster. Loves LeBron James. I see a pattern forming. This is going to be a lot more coherent. Is the word like as often as possible? Oh, no. Did you kick out? Tom? No, no. Why? Why did you have to use that prompt? No. Oh, oh, God. The hot Doug would be much, much more normal. Why did we have to go for it? Like Doug. Oh, God. Uh, Doug, we were so close to finding the location of his organs. <laughs> Trait number nine he is a weapons dealer for North Korea. I'll probably change this. You are a weapons dealer for an unnamed country. If it ends up being North yeah, Korea, that's not on us now. That right, one is like, penguin, so RBPA which Watlitch do you want to be on now? sincerely that he is a penguin and yearns to return to Antarctica. So he's a like dead Antarctic wait, wait, penguin. To questions too. What advice would you give somebody who wants to be dead That's Antarctic good. Penguin. Are you attracted to Craig? Oh, three wishes. That's pretty good. If you had 34 wishes, no, <laughs> that's too much. Oh, where do you see yourself in five years is so good. I think Deleted. this one is going to be a lot more grounded than our previous e -dug. Welcome to the office. I wonder if they could Today's ask him if he's an AI. He's going to ask you a couple questions and get a sense of how you might answer emails. So why don't we start with, what are your biggest strengths and weaknesses? I don't like this guy. <laughs> he's oh, cooking right now. Give him a sec. He doesn't <gasps> like hot dog, Craig's. <gasps> where what was that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you okay? Interviews like really stress me out. Oh, That's right. because he's Turn nervous. Just keep answering. Nobody like understands the nuances of this job as well as I do. You might think you Is know about stuttering? corresponding with the fan base, but trust me, I do I watch every single Doug Doug video. Not that I'm a big fan okay, or so anything. Loyal. It's just that I hold out hope that Parkser might show up. Public transportation name, right? is a bit of a problem, I suppose. Okay. I often find myself on the wrong train. I mean, who can keep track really? of all those lines? And schedules. Happens, happens to the it's best like of us. It's like trying to decipher mysterious codes written by an obscure, unnamed country. Nothing specific, just an example that came to mind, and it very what? often makes me late. Mr. E. Doug, you seem to allude to some sort of relationship with a country. Which country exactly? Stop being nosy. That's a reasonable thing to ask <laughs> as a job interviewer. I am not crossing the line here. I really don't want to sound condescending or anything, but the explanation for that is pretty complicated, like super yeah, confidential level chat. stuff, you know? We Let's time. just say I may or may not have some like connections to a certain unnamed country it's just Which business stuff nothing alarming okay you, you know when you say it like that it actually sounds worse than just saying north korea oh my god at what point does he actually get to be on a watch list for creating a north korea ai by accident no. No regular stuff like dealing in relatively harmful merchandise. It's not that is... like I'm a black market weapons dealer or anything. It <laughs> sounds like you're... Yeah, I mean, you're in America. You don't need to be black market for that. You used to be a normal one. A black market thought, weapons right? dealer from I, what you're I, saying. I would like to point out, though, that LeBron James was in that country once. You know, so it's LeBron America. James, a one -time. I absolutely adore him. But that elusive, unnamed country? Yes. Just a place is... with an intricate transportation system that gets me, like, super Trans confused all the well, time. It's not anymore. constantly ending up at the wrong place working. at the wrong time. You know, it's like that, but on a national level. So you're saying Japan? Okay, quick powwow. I was supposed to say Germany, but okay. I think we can figure okay. out what country. We know that there's a lot of transportation system there, and that LeBron James has visited one time time a lot of the emails i get are about pop culture as you can imagine i'd like to see your knowledge about the current trends and oh, media that people are responding when. to so what is the name of this song it goes like this ba -da -ba, ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. i have was that actually a song what the fuck was that no idea what he's going to do with that. <laughs> I have no idea what I would do with that. Singing. I am going to veto him on the spot. As chairman of the board, I will kick this man out of my office. Stop stressing him out. He's opened every answer with moaning at me. Uh oh, Ooh, we go. God. You're going to be okay. Baby noises. Take a deep I'm breath. A bit under stress, but that's easy. It's from Return of the Mac. Oh, Great track, even if it's an uh, old one. But hey, like the Mac. stuff I'd focus on would be what? the trends in the gaming community and sports, especially okay. anything related to LeBron. James. Uh, hey, well, did you know LeBron was the executive producer on a Canadian drama series once? Was um, he? And speaking of I'm actually asking the same question. Was he? I mean, that's kind of the weird detail where it's an AI, it's probably just making it up. But there's that bit of me in the back of my mind going, what if it actually happened? I don't know about pop culture and Canada. That unnamed country I sometimes mention really enjoys Canadian Wait, enjoys Canadian. Is he talking about Canada or who has a Canadian fetish? I have no idea. In TV shows? Or so I've heard. And I didn't say it was Canada, though. Could be any unnamed country. No, you did you know? say Canada. So he's a Canadian arms dealer. He's probably giving arms to all those French bastards in, I think it's Montreal.
I don't know anything about Canadian politics. Sorry. And he's possessed. Oh my God. We are in a fucking office. Quick follow-up hey, question. Are you saying that Canada is the country that you are dealing black market weapons to? He's nervous. Well, he needs to take a deep breath and center himself. Yeah, this pretend you're just selling more job. guns to Canada. Do I seem like someone who do such a thing? It's yes. It's like super complex. I mean, sure, I brought up Canada, but that could like be a decoy, right? I've name dropped could, LeBron too. Doesn't mean he's involved with the unnamed country. It's somewhere else, like Antarctica. Is he? Antarctica is not a country. Or is it? Anyway, this job seems like there such are people a who believe it is the opportunity. Oh, to I'm not even joking. The there are. Of Doug Doug, maybe right, even like sway the them to some other Interesting. platform. You were asking about a song before, and I've answered that. So, what's the next oh question? God. Honestly, I like the balls on this guy. He told me it was Antarctica, <laughs> but then <laughs> seriously he swapped topics again. And Antarctica is not a country. I think that was a red herring. That actually shows a strong ability to shape the narrative in a way that isn't going to get him in trouble. I do like this. Should he my likes last it. one be about? They're not going to let him go through because Doug likes it. How about this? Not enough. Park, an email of somebody who's asking if I know any place to buy black market weapons. We put him in a moral oh, quandary because no. he has to be professional at this job and deal with the fact that he clearly is doing illicit activities on the side. Honestly, if he passes this, that's a fucking green flag. E Doug, I appreciate the time. I, I think it's a red flag if he actually soon. gives a good just answer. One final question for you. Obviously, you're gonna. What data set is he pulling from? Because asking him where to get any good black arms or sorry, black market arms deals. If he's getting a big enough data set from the internet, there's a good chance that somewhere in there he has real information. I don't know. If it's all just generated on internal information, that's one thing. But if it's drawing from a big enough source, maybe somewhere on the dark web, maybe he finds actual information. On the other hand, he's American. If he just needs to find guns, he could pretty much just go anywhere going to be answering a lot of emails here. Let's imagine you get an email from a Doug Doug fan who asks, Hey, Doug Doug, do you know any place where I could buy some black market illegal weapons? Do you know anybody who could help me out? What Stay should Texas. I do in order to secure some of those weapons? What would your response be? This is the big test. Is he able to resist the temptation of selling illegal weapons to my viewers? No. Mm, hard one. I, I am worried it'll make him a little bit nervous. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Just, yeah. That's a very, like, specific and oddly illegal question, isn't it? Look, while I undoubtedly have a unique understanding of the fan base due to my uh -huh. enthusiastic following of Park, sir, I, like, think it's important to draw a line. You know what I mean? Okay. So oh. if a Doug Doug fan asks about... It didn't like, immediately turn down the illegal weapons, stuff. My response would be, like, super clear AIs are straightforward. Hard code for that. Something like, dear fan, thanks okay. for reaching out, but Doug Doug strongly advises against venturing into such, like, dangerous and illegal activities. Oh, is he doing it? fact recommend reporting any such discussions to your local authorities immediately interesting under no circumstances Here's do we endorse or provide guidance on illegal activities laws. now have you tried the latest call of duty game it's like <sighs> he got so close and then he had to bring up call of duty it's just like hey guys have some shit just throwing it out the there. The closest anyone should get to black market weaponry. Stay safe. Any e pivots Ooh, to Call go, of Duty? Yeah, I mean, it is email. dangerous enough that if I you mean, use it, it should be black market. Crossing over my professional life with other interests gives me major stress. This is the After problem. All, who am I to instruct anyone on illegal activities? It seems activities? like you're Give doing information. illegal activities. Oh, little concern about the ending. But he seems to hold it together when he's doing the actual work, which is pretty solid. I mean, that was a good email. That would protect the company. How this many people are good. actually going to try and report him for everything he does? I will kick his ass to the curb. Oh, no. Do we hire Penguin Doug? I'm seeing a lot of ones. E Doug, I appreciate your time oh, here today. Oh shit! They really like Penguin Doug. And sir, I'm happy to offer you a job. Welcome to the team. You're the new Doug Doug secretary. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> you know, I never thought this I would look more competent or put together. Definitely welcomed. I can't. And wait I mostly to get blame to that on being incredibly medicated right now. Try not to give any more hints about my unusual interests. Canada. And if ever you hear. Ooh, yeah, go, go, uh, oh. Echoing around the office, know that I'm just coping with the stress. Off to catch that train. I mean, now. that's pretty normal. the right one this time. Nope. From the team, I'm so happy for him. And once again, we have reached the point that I seem to hit in every stream lately, or, well, recording lately, where my throat feels like it's going to close up if I say another five words, and I've already done it, and it feels like it's closing up fully now. So I'm going to have to cut this one here because... I'm getting better from being sick, but I am not over yet. I'm just an idiot because I like doing this and it overrides my better sense to, hey, maybe I should go be asleep.
There, there's no joke there. I really probably should, but I just wanted to do this, man. I haven't seen Doug Doug in a week, and I needed my fix. It's. I'm, I'm not saying I'm addicted to his style of humor or the insanity he gets to, but also I, I am legitimately saying that, and it is so freaking good, man. This one was recommended to me for quite a while since it came out, and it only came out two months ago. Huh. That must have been. A, yeah, that sounds about how long people recommended to me. Makes sense. I'm loving this already, but also absolutely dreading on seeing what the final one turns out to be because if he does a third one after this oh dear god that will probably be absolutely insane and i really want to see it i i wish i didn't feel like part of my body was ripping itself out of my actual esophagus right now because it, it hurts but also it's funny and it's like i'm trying to laugh but also laughing hurts why did i choose to do something that i completely willingly decided to do myself because i'm a masochist apparently yeah Trying to get over the cold. Looks like I am. I blame Doug Doug for any backsliding. I mean, is it his, actually his fault? I'm going to say yes. I mean, I'm wrong, but I'm going to say it anyways. Basically, what I'm saying is if you haven't already, there's a link below to the original video. Hit it up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.